Parents, pull out your wallets. Fort Mill student athletes will be paying a new fee this upcoming year. And you can blame, at least in part, our rising fuel cost. But why aren't other activities being asked to pony up too? WCNC's Maria Catula went looking for answers today. We would charge a fee for athletic participation, a $50 fee. For that means Fort Mill High football player Patrick O'Brien will pay 50 bucks if he wants to be a linebacker. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to come up with it, but they probably not going to want to. And so will Nation Ford's second baseman, Cody Johnson. I do not work. <laughs> My parents have no problem paying it. Playing in front of college scouts Wednesday, Johnson says the fee is minimal. $50 is very small compared to travel and showcase teams. Right now, showcase teams can $1,500, $2,000 a season. But please understand. But Superintendent Dr. Keith Calicut knows the fees will be tough for families with brothers and sisters playing on many different teams. They'll pay only $50 regardless of the number of sports they participate in. Oh, yeah. The school district faces a $2 million budget shortfall, mainly because of less funding from the state. But we project that it'll bring in about $85,000, $86,000, $85,000. Basically, the money is to offset the price of getting kids to and from their games. And with gas prices hovering at the $4 mark, these buses are going to be pretty pricey to fill. <laughs> Some are asking why band members who also travel don't get charged. Um, I don't think it's fair, really. Uh, I know they, their instruments are very expensive. We're not happy about charging any fee for participation. Uh, and we hope this is a temporary action. In Fort Mill, Maria Catula, Carolina's News Connection.